We all know the story. One day, Sir Isaac Newton decided to rest under an apple tree. An apple fell on his head, and boom, gravity. But what if the apple had killed him instead? What would it take for Newton to die by his own discovery? What we need to find here is the impact force. To put it simply, we're taking the kinetic energy of the falling apple and converting it into work. With a little rearranging, we end up with our formula, and we find that the apple would need to be dropped from a height of 41.4 meters in order to do some significant damage. At that point, Newton's skull would shatter, and fragments could tear through his brain, causing him to bleed out. However, if the skull fragments don't pierce too far, it could possibly be fixed through 17th century surgery. Any neurological damage, however, would be permanent. According to the Brain Injury Resource Center, potential side effects from a top-of-the-head injury include difficulty naming objects, difficulty reading, and difficulty performing math problems. Needless to say, Newton would be done for. Hold on, that's not quite how this works. We didn't account for air resistance. You see, the apple will only accelerate so much. Eventually, the drag from the air will match the acceleration from gravity, and the apple will stay at a steady velocity. What's that velocity? 24 meters per second. Not even close to how fast we need it to go. It's not like apple trees even grow 41 meters tall anyways. There is one other angle we can take here, though. No, not dropping a bushel of apples on Newton. One apple, a normal height. I think you know where I'm going with this. HR2562b, an exoplanet with such an unwieldy name that I'll be referring to it as Bob from now on, is the densest exoplanet currently known. Bob revolves around a pulsar, and though the conditions would be a bit harsh for people like us, Isaac Newton somehow managed to find an apple tree over there. As the apple falls, it's pulled with a gravitational strength 61 times stronger than Earth. An apple on Bob is like one large brick here. Of course, having apples impaling your head would be the least of your concerns while living on Bob. Because of the immense gravitation, you yourself would weigh 61 times what you normally do. Even if you were able to keep yourself from falling to the ground, your heart would be too weak to pump blood to your head and you would quickly pass out. But of course, Bob is 110 light years away. There's no way that humans would be able to set foot there in the near future. So here we are, one dead Newton, on a rock incredibly far away from Earth. In 1680, what would happen to history without our Newton? It's difficult to say. Newton was a very social person, always sending letters to other intellectuals, so some of his early ideas could still have been salvaged. However, this aptly death would prevent Principia Mathematica from ever being written. Without the Principia, fundamental concepts would have been left unpublished like Newton's laws of motion, which lay out all of today's non-quantum physics, the law of universal gravitation, and some of the early foundations of calculus. Without these advancements, surely the world would be a much different place. Granted, other intellectuals would figure out these things eventually, but the time frame for it would probably be a little bit longer than we know. But hey, at least Leibniz will be credited for his work on calculus, so that's nice. 